In this tutorial, we are going to learn what is and how to use procedural textures in Babylon.js. So first, let's understand what is a procedural texture. Essentially, it's a texture generated programmatically based on an algorithm instead of an image. That being said, the first procedural texture we are going to see is based on Perlin noise. If you don't know what Perlin noise is, I highly suggest you watch this video made by the coding train. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a mesh in a material. Now to generate the parallel noise texture, I'm going to make an instance of the noise procedural texture class. And here we need to pass a string as a name, the size, and the scene, which is optional. Next, we need to set this texture as we do with the regular textures, so it could be a diffuse or an emissive texture, for instance. That done, we can update the look of this texture by changing the values of its properties. So we have the octaves property. We also have the persistence. And we can also change the animation speed. Now you might be wondering in which case this can be useful. Well, setting a noise texture as an opacity map could be useful to create some cool effects. So let's make an emissive texture from a JPG file. Now I'm going to set the noise texture as an opacity texture. As you can see, nothing has changed here, because the opacity texture reads the alpha value from the red channel of the texture. However, we wanted to rather make the alpha calculation based on the white color. To do that, I'll simply set the get alpha from RGB property of the noise texture to true. And there we go. Aside from the noise texture, there are seven procedural textures in Babylon.js. However, they are not shipped with the core of the library. To add them, we need to install the procedural textures module. To do so, in the command line, I'll type npm install at babylon.js slash procedural dash textures. Now I'm going to import the fire procedural texture class from that module. Next, I'm simply going to create an instance of it and pass it as an emissive texture to the material. We have a couple properties we can change like the speed which updates the velocity of the flames. We have also the fire colors, and here we can pass two types of values. The first is presets, which are a handful built-in colors. We have four of them. The second type we have is an array of six elements, each represents the color of the flames. We got a green square here because obviously we passed the same value to the six elements, so let's change that.
And again, we can use this procedural texture as an opacity texture, for instance. Another example of the procedural textures we have is the marble procedural texture. We can change the color of the joints. And we can also increase or decrease the number of tiles. And this is it for this tutorial, so make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.